This is Twit. Give us sort of the overview of what the DPLA is and what your role is with it. Sure. Um, so the DPLA brings together uh, materials that have been digitized in libraries, archives, and museums throughout the United States, and we make them freely available. Um, so we really work to include um, basically all, all kinds of materials. We really specialize in cultural heritage materials, so things like um, scanned books or historic photographs, um, some scanned manuscript materials and so forth. Um, but we understand our mission to be pretty broad. Um, and so part of what we're trying to do is make sure that materials are openly available and we improve the discovery uh, of those materials. So um, we're, basically DPLA is built on um, a, a history over the last 20 years or so of um, digital library work in the United States. So mm -hmm. building collections um, for online access uh, to, to all sorts of materials that mostly research libraries have held. Um, part of the issue with that, though, is that this has often ended up in causing like sort of a degree of siloization that, you know, an individual institution might make their materials available online, but there's not a, a, an easy way to search across institutions. But, you know, there's been progress made. Um, and, I, and I think generally speaking, people who are doing this digital library work understand the importance of doing this kind of cross collection discovery. But what we really do is we, uh, we give uh, our users and we, we give sort of users understood to be very broadly um, the ability to to search across a, a large index a, of multiple partners. Um, we also provide uh, a mechanism for developers to uh, work with our data. We, we provide both bulk data and API access to our platform, uh, which is basically the our, our search index. Um, we also do a fair amount of work uh, in advocating for public option um, for intellectual property rights. So, so part of... Uh, of, of difficulty, I think, that, that libraries have had in the U.S. is that uh, sort of the confusing nature of intellectual property law. So there's, you know, librarians tend to understand this very well, um, but still there's, there's sort of a tendency to be rather risk averse. Um, so I think what we're trying mm -hmm. to, one of the things that we're trying to do is really engage in education about intellectual property and make sure people understand sort of how they can apply licenses like Creative Commons licenses or how we can better document right statements in a way to make them uh, globally interoperable or understandable through without sort of really focusing on the legalese and sort of so people people can really get to the point of where what stuff can we reuse easily? What does it mean if a library doesn't provide um, a high resolution image, you know, wh what are, are there any other limitations on usage that we might need to, to provide clearer guidance about? So, um, my job is, um, sort of a broadly understood to be, um, leading the technology vision for DPLA. So, mm -hmm. um, I, I'm sort of both a lead architect and sort of a, a blue sky thinker at the same time. Um, I also do a lot of work trying to identify uh, partnerships um, outside of DPLA. Um, so one of the ways in which we operate, for example, is we bring in content through a network of hubs. So hubs are basically uh, in institutions that e – either large institutions that, that contribute a very, very large number of records to us um, mm -hmm. or – institutions that aggregate on behalf of other institutions. So, for example, um, the Minnesota Digital Library provides service to the, the entire state of Minnesota um, and hosts digital collections for them and, and provides some other services. So um, the hubs are the ways by which we get those materials um, and the way that and are basically the aggregation points for us. So part of what we're trying to do is develop sort of a technical network within the hubs and, and, and figure out, you know, who, what are the, what are the groups that, um, that we need to be, that, that I need to sort of help foster collaboration between, um, who are our industry, uh, who are our industry partners, both in terms of sort of, um, sort of thinking about business opportunities or what other open source projects should we be collaborating with or, or working on? So, 
it's sort of it's both a sort of a managerial, you know, upper level job, but also I still have to get my hands dirty and write some code and help out with deployments and things like that. So it's a it's a good mix, but it's a it's a hard balance. <laughs> 